Did you know you might not be enjoying your glass of red or white as much as you could be? Haley Bullman from the virtual wine tasting group Cork and Fizz busted a few wine myths for me. Figured we'd start off with a really practical one, something you'll use all the time when you're drinking wine. So a lot of people believe that you should enjoy your white wine straight out of the fridge and your red wine at room temperature, mm. when actually both of those would be so much better if you kind of enjoyed them right in between those two temperatures. Really? So my white wine a little bit warmer and my red wine a little bit cooler. Exactly. When the white wine is too cold, you lose the nuance of flavor and it ends up just being really tart and bitter. Mm. Red wine too warm just smells like alcohol, right? And you're missing out on all the, you know, I know the alcohol's fun part too, but all the other fun flavors. Right. And so I always recommend if you're enjoying a white wine and you have it stored in the fridge, take it out about 30 minutes before you pour yourself a glass. Okay. And then with red wine, you have it stored at room temperature go ahead and put that in the fridge for about 20 minutes before you enjoy a glass. 20 minutes. Okay. I yeah. actually, I have to say I, as it's gotten colder outside, my wine has gotten colder and I've noticed it's, it tastes better. Yeah. Um, it's really interesting. It is, but you're also saying no more ice in my white wine. I'm not going to stop you from putting ice in your white wine, of course, but <laughs> you know, sometimes that happens. Um, I just want a little cooler. I understand that. <laughs> Uh, another one that I found really interesting is this whole debate between screw top closures and yes. corks. Now, I would think a screw top would really mean it's fresh. Yes. Yeah. And so it's interesting enough, though, is a lot of people are hesitant to bring them to like, let's say like a holiday party. Right. So you're mm -hmm. shopping at the store. You find a wine like this one. You know, it's got that screw cap on it. Yeah. And some people are hesitant to bring it. They'll think people think it's a cheaper wine because mm. it has that screw cap. But it's completely a myth that the screw cap is inferior to the cork. So the screw cap was actually invented in France, which is like the motherland of wine. So you can't yes. really go wrong there. <laughs> um, and then along with that, it was invented back in the 1960s and 70s. So they've done plenty of studies to find out that the screw cap works as well, if not better than, like you mentioned, better than the cork at keeping yeah. your wine um, good for multiple years. So basically, as long as it's not coming out of a box, you're good. You know, there are some great boxes too. I'm not going to hate on that, but yes, if there's, you know, there are some great ones. And honestly, I have this great, this is a Pietra Riesling um, from Oregon. And Ooh. I would not hesitate to bring this to any holiday party. I, I love my Kim Crawford and that's a screw yeah. top too. And speaking of box wines, I've had tried the Boda box that they are pretty good. <laughs> Noir. Um, all wines improve with age. I know this not to be true. Yes. Yes. I know. I feel like people like, I know this is very common. A lot of people feel this like, oh, that $10 bottle of Malbec from the store, it'll taste so much better in five years. <laughs> well, honestly, it's probably a little too late. You know, all wine has a lifespan, kind of looks like a bell curve. And mm -hmm. you've got that beginning part. That's when the wine was first bottled, needs a little time to settle and hang out. And that's why you don't see a lot of wines in the store with the same year on them as the year you're shopping. And yeah. so then as it ages a little bit, it reaches that prime, right? And that's when the wine really shines. But for most wines, it's about a year or two tops. That's when it's up there. And then unfortunately it does start to decline. It starts to worsen. It loses that fruit flavor to the point where it'll start becoming vinegar at the end. Ooh, yes. Well, I'd be surprised if a bottle of wine lasted on my counter longer than a year. <laughs> <laughs> that too. I mean, it's great hearing that, right? You're like, ah, oh, yes, I can drink them as much as I want. <laughs> Unless someone says, put this bottle of silver oak away, yeah. <laughs> I will drink it. Exactly. Um, so I have a, I, another question I have for you is that um, sometimes when it comes to buying a bottle of wine for yourself or for someone, I find that like a lot of times when you go to like the $18, $20 range, you're going to get a good bottle. But like beyond that, like a $30 bottle, not a whole lot of difference sometimes. Yeah, that's a great question. I find with, with wine, you know, a lot of people think, oh, the more expensive it is, the better, right? That's yeah. not necessarily true. I'm kind of one of those believers. Most of the wines I buy are between that like 15 to $30 range. Cause that's where you're balancing out. You know, you've got smaller producers, right? They do have higher yeah. costs. So they'll kind of fit into that realm. But once you go higher than that, you're often paying for the name, right? You're paying for the prestige. Yeah. You're not necessarily buying the wine in the bottle anymore. <laughs> That's so true. You know, one of my favorite wines I, I love, it's by that, it's by Duckhorn, which is a very, very fancy wine, yes. but they have that, the, the other yes. brand decoy and decoy, it's $20 yes. a bottle. That's my Friday night, Haley. Yes. I love it. And also like available at Trader Joe's. I have a whole thing on Trader Joe's wine. They have some really great stuff at an affordable rate. 
I love all the things we learned from her. I did not know. Did you know that we're supposed to put the red in the fridge? Well, not exactly, no. But you know, you see fancy people with like a wine fridge, so there's something there. You right, know? right. I hear that. I okay. don't have a wine fridge. So let's try it with the... I should have aired. Well, we opened it just, you know, to make sure it breathed a little. Easier to open on TV. And easier to open on... It's about the breathing and the go. ease of opening. Okay, so let's try this. Okay. Cheers. It's a little bit cooler. A little swirling. Ooh. I, I agree. Oh. I think that's better. And I don't like cab, really. It's a little too... It's a little too strong for me. Oh. But this makes it... It, it is interesting how it does palatable. change it a little bit. It does. It changes it a little bit. Okay, and so we've let the white wine mm -hmm. warm a little and this is my favorite wine Sauvignon Blanc. I knew that that's why I, I know you knew <laughs> that I love that so we're gonna see if it tastes a little better not quite as cold. Okay let's see here cheers again. again. Cheers. Okay. Mm. It's bolder. Yeah. You don't like a sap. <laughs> well, no, I do, but I just am recalling every time we've had wine, you like to put the ice cube in your wine. I do. So. I do like an ice cube in my wine. But, I mean, it's good. I see what, what she's saying, yeah. is it brings out the flavor more. Well, and if mm. you like to drink wine, it's fun to learn more about it just because it's such a, like a historic industry. Yeah. And, you know, if you're just a casual wine drinker, why not learn more about it? I want to learn more yeah. about this. This is good. Chateau saint Michel. Oh, yeah. I like that I brand. I like that. It's yeah. my first time having that one. Oh. Um... This is delicious. Yeah. I could, I could, I mean, I might need some ice for this one though. <laughs> I mean, I'm here, for, but like we all have our ways of drinking wine. Yes. And there's no wrong way. Do not let wine intimidate you. That was the whole reason you booked yeah. her for yeah. our show. Yeah, we wanted to learn a little bit more and make it a little more approachable for everyone, especially going into the holidays. A lot of people like to gift wine yeah. and you know, now's the time, so. And if you ever run into someone who doesn't know a lot about it, don't shame them. Don't be snobby. Oh, yeah. Sharing all, is caring. We're all learning. We're all learning. Yeah, there you go. Awesome, thank you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Cheers. Cheers again, because yes. you know what, you can't cheers enough on this show. <laughs>